fits and starts. So Webb out of the gun, second down and 16. He's going to hurl it down the seam, and it's intercepted. Kobe Singleton with the interception. On a three down front, what's well, hard to substitute and be able to do that. Now Smothers on second and nine, throwing, and he's looking for Carter. He's got him down at the one yard line. 26 yards to Carter. Smothers is going to keep it. Finds a lane to the end zone. A touchdown, Jacksonville State. Yeah, beautifully run zone read. Everyone's crashing, thinking running back's just going to come downhill. And like we talked about, the start this drive. Nick Brown, a sophomore out of Frisco, Texas, out of the hold of Max Morgan, the punter. And that one is hit well and true. Took it down, running up the first down. Lewis finds a hole on the left side. He's across midfield. Into Liberty territory. Flung down at the 36-yard line by Jalen Jimerson. Hanshaw, the tight end, goes in motion. And go back to the ground game. Here's Billy Lucas. Little shimmy shake right up the middle, and he gets out to midfield. The Duquesne transfer. Jacksonville State showing pressure. Here they come. Picked up nicely. Now Salter forced out. And he is so good on his feet, gets inside the 40-yard line. Chased out by Quay Drake. That's the longest run of the night for Liberty. And now Cooley again, picking his way into the end zone. Touchdown. Quentin Cooley from six yards out. And Liberty has its first lead of the game. Also as a lead blocker there. And two great runs. Logan Smothers came in for Webb on the second drive, and now he's going to throw it deep near sideline, looking for his man. What a turning catch! Jordan McCants. Nowhere to run for the quarterback. Karachik missed from 31 earlier in the half. His second attempt is good from 39. Third down and six after the penalty. Hanshaw the tight end to the right side. Now Salter in trouble. He's going to be swarmed under. Ball comes loose. Jacksonville State looks like they have recovered. Clock running again, 30 seconds to go in the half. Smothers on first down, taking a shot toward the end zone, and it's almost, it is picked off. Brylan Green got it. Let's see if they go to Daniels here. Daniels streaking down the middle of the field. Salter wanted him at first, but now he's in trouble. Running for his life, he's going to be dumped at the 43-yard line. Mustachioed defensive coordinator. Bright star in this game, that's for sure. Third and 12, rolling out. Salter has a man at Sibley. Big first down to the 30-yard line. Stopping for minimal gains. Second longest drive of the night for Liberty. This is play number 12. Salter going to the end zone, and it is caught for a touchdown. Sibley. Liberty regains the lead. Trayon Sibley hits. It actually looked like some miscommunication from the two receivers on the outside, and Sibley just said, you know what, I'm just going to outrun the DB. Karadzic. And that is good. Alan Karadzic. With Cooley, we'll see if this defensive line can bow up a little bit. Can they pick up two yards? It's going to be a keeper, and now Salter gets rid of it to the tight end, Hanshaw. He's got a first down and more. Bentley Hanshaw, the gifted tight end, inside the 30-yard line. This is Caden Salter, the Liberty quarterback, taking a shot toward the end zone, looking for Ben Good, and he's got it for the touchdown. Aaron Bedgood. He's been extremely dynamic with his legs. Salter, a couple of touchdown passes tonight, but they stay on the ground with what's been working, and that is going to be a touchdown run. Quentin Cooley, his second touchdown of the game, this one from five yards out, and that might be the haymaker. The more physical team tonight. Jacksonville State has gotten to where they've gone to middle of the season because they have been the more physical team. 0-4 against the Gamecocks. Again, it took a while for the offense to get going, but they did, and it was a dominating rushing game for Quentin Cooley. It was a dominating game for him, just unbelievable.